All right, we got some crushing news in the zombie genre that the highly anticipated video game The Last of Us Part 2 was indefinitely delayed. It was just announced today. I uploaded a video. If you missed it and want some details for that, you can check that out. Also, right now we're going to be discussing and taking a peek at the very first look at the sequel for Train to Busan, which is called Peninsula. And I did make an ultimate review I am so incredibly proud of called uh, Train to Busan, a flaw and all review. It's a way to rate and rank, giving it a score. It's one of the videos on my channel I am the most proud of. I'll put a link up here, somewhere to the right. Am I aiming at the right spot? Somewhere up here in this corner. Yeah, right there. And then at the end, I'll put one in the end screen. We're going to take a look at the article here. It, I don't think the article is going to tell us much, but we will take a look at the trailer first. Let's jump into that. Now, I cannot just go ahead and play what happened here. I cannot just go ahead and play the trailer. If you want to look at the trailer on your own, go ahead and check it out. I've got a lot of requests to go through the trailer. We're kind of taming or toning down and uh, not doing as many of these, but I got a ton of requests, but we're ramping up the flaw and all reviews. Check those out if you're interested. Those I am the most proud of. If you're a zombie fan, we did Night of the Living Dead. We did Dawn of the Living Dead. I'm now currently editing Day of the Dead. Did I say Dawn of the Living Dead? Why do I do that? Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, whatever. Here is the trailer for Peninsula. Starts off with a tagline that says four years after Train to Busan. And not only is it four years from the time we saw it, because Train to Busan was released in 2016. But I got the impression the trailer is saying, and if you watch the rest of it, it is four years in their time as well. That gave me a little bit of hope to maybe have a cameo of the the surviving characters from Train to Busan, but we'll see. I still think that would be friggin' awesome. If you know, if you haven't watched Train to Busan, go and watch it, but the ending was such that I think it would be great to get a little bit of a, a nice, here's what happened. But this is a grim future, so I'm, I'm liking this. This part is epic. So they got the night vision. Yeah, here it is. Four years after Train to Busan. Not only our time, but in their world as well. You've got the zombies here up on the glass. And then it pulls back and reveals that this, whatever this is, it's packed. It looks like it's some type of walkway. And it's got plexiglass or glass or some type of um, see-through material. And look at that. They're just packed up against it. I'm assuming this is going to shatter. And it'll be an action scene. Yeah, nothing is left. We got a view of the town. I like the visuals too. That post-apocalyptic look. This is definitely in. I wonder why they didn't use the characters from the first one. Because it seems like they're doing... They got this female and they got a kid. And the kid in the first one is still young. So it, they probably could have used them. Maybe it, would, it wouldn't have fit as good. They have this arena, which is a concept we've seen in a few things. And they open the doors. And look at that. I thought this was a monster at first. I watched it on my cell phone and I was like, whoa, hold on. I went onto the computer and took a better look on my big monitor. And I was like, oh, okay. It's just like zombies riding other zombies. Look at that, though. Some type of fighting pit. Someone said in the comments, it's Land of the Dead on steroids, which is another one by George Romero we're going to get to in the Flaw and All reviews. We're going to do all of the Romero ones up until Land. We're not going to do any after that right now. Or at least I don't have any plans for that. Look at this. This guy, this zombie does a one-handed handstand. He ain't playing around. That looks like some type of uh, 
just holding area for survivors, someone seems like they turn. I don't know if that's too loud for y'all either. We got a picture of this zombie. He looks badass. I know it's blurry because it's quick movements. Yeah, look at all that. Damn, that looks hype, yo. <laughs> That is beautiful. Reminds me of The Last of Us. Oh, break my heart. Look at that. And those zombies look vicious. I like the, the detail and the look of them. And another thing with... I love how in the zombie genre, everyone tweaks their zombies a little bit. And in Train to Busan, in that world, the zombies lead like head first, teeth first. I like that aspect. I know I have um, a comic that I self-published called Doomsday Kingdom doomsdaykingdom.com if you want to check it out and those zombies have more of a, um they hunch over and they got these like crunched up fingers and they're more of grabbers they're in this like hunched over grabbing state but then you have the zombies that are just hands down and mumbling forward and or shambling forward you have some some zombies especially older that walk like hands out you get what i'm saying so i love the little differences but these fast moving and crazy zombies having them teeth first is a really nice touch. <laughs> that dude's like wiping his brow. Look at him to the bottom right. And then, oh shit, <laughs> someone's shooting. I really wish I didn't have to chop this up. And again, on my phone, I thought that was the little girl from the first one. I was like, you know what? It's been four years, but um, she, she didn't look like she aged much. But there was something about her, um, something about her face. It didn't quite look like her. But again, on my phone, it's so tiny. I was like, holy shit. Did they just show the, the little girl from the first one? And I got super hyped. But I tried looking it up. And that's what the article was about. I tried looking it up, but it doesn't appear that that's her. Yeah, look at that shit. Peninsula. Whew. Yeah, it's coming 2020. Obviously, the virus happening right now. A lot of things are getting delayed and pushed back. This doesn't have... Let me look at the article. Just because I don't want to give you guys any crazy information. This doesn't have a U.S. release date. Right now it's scheduled for um, summer of 2020. Or I'll double check. That's in South Korea though. Again, it's a South Korean film. If, if they do or if things do recover by then and if they do get something set up. We might be looking at a little after summer. So let's just say, let's just fingers crossed in the United States, at least. Let's just say, hopefully we can watch, you know, Train to Busan 2 Peninsula. Um, let's hope winter. Let's hope we don't get any crazy delays where we're not watching this bitch in 2021. You know, because that shit would suck. The article says, well, Go USA has released the official teaser trailer for director, I'm not going to screw up his name, highly anticipated Train to Busan sequel, Peninsula, giving us our first look at the insane post-apocalyptic world following the events of the first film. The South Korean zombie thriller is scheduled to debut this coming summer in its home country, while no plans have currently been set for its international release. And then it goes over who's starring. It gives a little write-up saying, four years after South Korea, Korea's uh, total decimation in Train to Busan, the zombie thriller that captivated audiences worldwide, acclaimed director, uh, brings us Peninsula, the nail-biting chapter in this post-apocalyptic world. There's a soldier who previously es escaped the diseased wasteland, relies, uh, I'm sorry, relives the horror when assigned to cover Operation Oh, I'm sorry. Again, to a covert operation with two simple objectives, retrieve and survive. 
When his team unexpectedly stumbles upon survivors, their lives will depend on whether the best or worst of human nature prevails in the dearest um, of circumstances. I was trying to picture the trailer as I was reading that. So it's a covert operation and you have a retrieval and survival. So they go in looking for someone or something and on their way out, if it was someone that might be a little too the last of us type, like imagine if it's a, a little kid or a little girl or a little somebody um, cure related. And this is stuff that comes up all the time in the zombie genre. And, I'm, and if you know me, you know, I'm automatically against it. Uh, when you have something with the cure, I just nine times out of 10 for me, it doesn't work. But if they're going in to retrieve something that's so important, is it a cure? Is it something else? Is it something as small as uh, someone in in the higher ups, one of their family members? Again, I don't know. But they're going in to get something and then they got to survive and come out. Obviously, they go in, they get captured and they get put in this arena and then they got to make their way out. That kind of lines up with some of the stuff we saw in the, the trailer. And it goes over who's starring in it. And then it goes over Train to Busan just exploding in the box office. And it did do re so well. I think New Line Cinema actually won the bidding war for the Train to Busan remake in America. So expect that in 2021 because I don't think I've heard much about it. Given you could look it up yourself. I don't think they're even in production right now. They might be. I lost track of the remake. I'm I'm not holding any. My interest is on the sequel here. I don't mind that it is um uh it has subtitles with Train to Busan. It's on my DVD. I watch it repeatedly. Love it. It's one of my all-time favorite zombie movies. I don't have any hope in the remake. Even if they did it justice, it's kind of a story we've already seen, so I'm not really sure. It depends. I will watch it and check it out when it releases. So again, if you've seen Train to Busan, if you haven't, go watch it right now. I mean right now. I think it's on Netflix still or Amazon. Check it out. If you are interested in an ultimate review, I spent a lot of time. We're talking like a whole week editing together this Flaw It and All review. Definitely check this out. I'll leave a link in the um, at the end of the video right now. Let's end this out, and I'll put the the I'll put it up on the screen somewhere here, where you can check that out. So, um, give me your thoughts about um, Peninsula, the trailer. Give me your thoughts on Train to Busan. Maybe some updated thoughts if you're newer and have just checked it out. And don't forget, check out the Flaw and All review. All right, guys, I'm done talking. It's your turn.